Sippy sippy by yourself is no fun. Nah, just not the same. Oh, this is a vlog. Well, that we mean for you, for your mom and your dad and your auntie Sue. So grab yourself a coffee, it's a crack pimp dawn, and strap yourself in for a hit squad. Vlog. It's another Hits Good Sunday morning, but not for Mercedes, as reports indicate that my amazing HGM co-host is feeling a little bit down with sickness. But don't worry, because um, a few weeks ago when we had computer malfunctions, I decided to make another video just for backups that we never actually use. So today what I'm going to do instead is we're going to go back in time a little bit to like two weeks ago when I shot this. Uh, so this is a vlog that we were doing. Guess it was a vlog anyway. Um, so this one is about music because I love music, like really, really love music. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this week's vlog and yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see you next week But I'll do a thing at the end. Yeah, hope you enjoy it All right, well, I'm hoping this is gonna work um, It's another heaps good Sunday morning and yet again I'm here to delight and entertain. Uh, for anyone who has been following on Facebook, they would be aware that this week, unfortunately, there is no heaps good morning because uh, we have had some computer troubles. Uh, so at the moment, we actually don't have a connection for our microphone. So I am using the usual camera but I don't have the usual microphone, hence why the sound is probably sounding a little bit off. Um, anyway, so we have decided today that um, rather than doing heaps good morning, we would do video blogs or vlogs, if you will, uh, to keep everyone informed and up to date and entertained. Uh, so we were going to do vlogs of a day in the life of. Um, unfortunately, my life is pretty dull and boring, uh, like really dull and boring, you have no idea. Uh, the basic things of what I do on a daily basis is I clean the house. Write future episodes of Heat's Good Morning. I change into a boot. I am killer boot. I kill you. Hey, I kick. You're supposed to be working. I kick you. Push. I win. I win. I am the mighty boot. <laughs> Answer fan mail. Do the washing. Load after load after load of laundry. Then I change nappies, read stories, and I am the nap time master. Uh, but that's my day. It's really really dull, so I didn't want to bore you with this. So I thought we would do something a little bit different this week. Um, what I wanted to do is answer one of the most common questions that I get asked in my day-to-day -day life, which is to do with music. Um, so today, M stands for Music. I don't even know if you can 
That's really terrible. Sorry, I was just looking at the screen to have a look at that's terrible. I might even just get rid of that and not even use this part. Anyway, um, so the most common question that I tend to get asked is how do I write songs? So today I thought I would go over a little bit about that and talk about how I go and start writing my songs. It's a bit different for everybody, but this is my method. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first question I usually get asked is what comes first when I'm writing music? If it is, do I get an idea for um, a melody first or do I get some form of lyrics first? And to my answer, my answer of which is always the same, is yes. Uh, this is because there is no one correct way on which to do this. Uh, for me, most commonly, I have some form of an idea in my head of what I would like to write a song about or a line or something like that and I start building off of that as a general rule. Um, but all these rules can be broken in terms of uh, the hate, um, Hits Good Morning outro, which does not have any lyrics to it. I couldn't write lyrics first, so it had to be in melody first. There are always exceptions to every rule that I am going to talk to you about today. So the things that you will need when you are first starting to write your song is pretty simple. We are going to start with a pen and paper, a thesaurus and a good solid idea uh, because that's what you need. Simple enough. Uh, thesaurus because basically what it comes down to is you're writing a song and you've used this word once already and you don't want to use the same word later on. You also want to make your song sound interesting and you want to make yourself sound intelligent. So a thesaurus is always good just to help you nut out what words you could use in place of other words. So always have a thesaurus with you. Um, pen and paper of course you're going to need because you're going to write this down. Of course you could do it on your computer if you choose so. But uh, me just being a bit of a puritist, a puritan, purist, I like to um, keep it with pen and paper. And thirdly, you're going to need your idea. There is no point in trying to write a song if you don't have any ideas on what you are going to write. Uh, so make sure you've got a good solid idea of what you want to write to begin with. So next we want to um, storyboard our ideas. So uh, you want to have a fully fledged or at least a partially fledged story either on a whiteboard or in your mind. So you just want to, I don't know, you've got a page. These are the things that are happening to him. Uh, there's a guy. Okay, here's a guy. At the end, we know at the end that he is going to die. Alright, he's dying at the end. He no longer has a head. Right. Blood's coming out everywhere. You get the idea. Okay, so. And now we want to fill in as much as these gaps as possible. So that way um, you know what to expect during in your song. So, uh, like, he goes to a whorehouse during the night somewhere along the lines, okay? So X, 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 he's going to a whorehouse at one point in time. Look, what I meant to say was a brothel. Um, uh, take backsies. I don't, I'm just making this up off the top of my head. So, um, I'm, I'm sorry for the shocking drawings and also shocking storytelling here but basically what you want to go along and do is just give a rough idea of what has to go into your song it can be visual you can have it written down or you can just have it locked away in your head which is my preferred method in the way of doing it now of course i'd just like to add once again that this is not always the case um, I have a song, I actually have a couple of songs, uh, Call Me Jesus and Call Me Judas. Uh, they do not, had never had a storyboard. I did not know what I was writing when I sat down and write, to write it. I had no idea what I was actually doing. Um, 
This is because I have always said that I did not actually write these songs and I know this is going to sound all kinds of dicky but I did not actually write these songs. These songs, um, I say wrote me, uh, basically because they just, they started forming by themselves. I didn't sit down, nut anything out. It just kind of happened as I was doing it. Um, so next, I'd like to just touch on a little bit of basic rhymes, which apparently is something that not everyone can grasp. Um, now this is extraordinarily easy, so excuse me if you think, well, duh, but there are a lot of people out there, as easy as it is, they don't grasp the fact that this is what you have to do. So this is how you do it. We are going to start off, visual aids are always good, I hope you can see this whiteboard okay. So we are just going to start off by writing the alphabet here, A, B, C, D. Okay, sorry, really, really poor handwriting. I'm not good at writing on whiteboards. Anyway, all right, as I said, really basic, but we're gonna go through this anyway. Okay, so we're gonna start off by writing down all the letters of the alphabet, and we are going to choose the word that we want to rhyme with. Now, I have chosen a word to try to make this as simple as possible, so we are going to go with the word hug. Quite simple, all right, all right. So this is the way we can start off. Quite simply, we want to take out all the vowels. So A, E, I, O, and U. Because they're not going to be any good to us whatsoever. Whatsoever. Because um, words that start with these letters aren't usually going to help you in circumstances where your second letter is a vowel. You can probably take out Q, probably take out Z, and a lot of the times you can take out X and Y as well. Okay, so now, we simple, really, really, really simple. Hug, B, bug, C, cug, nothing, D, dug, but, You've also got drug. Okay. F, fug, no, gug. If you're into hip hop, gug is actually a word, so I'll allow you to use it, but we're not gonna use gug. We've got hug, so we can take off all those. Uh, da, 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 da. J, jug, cug, nah, lug, mug. All right, so you get the basic idea. But of course, as I said, not only can you stick to um, those words, the three letter words, you can extend it by putting in another letter like R to create drug. Simple, really, really, really simple. But I would also like to add another exception to the rule because I'm gonna use another hip hopper term here. Something that you would never think that would go with hug, and as I said, Really hip hopper, I'm sorry. Bras. Yeah, I know, I'm, I said I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Now, I know technically this is not a rhyme. This is not a rhyme at all. But if you sell it enough, if you make your words sound similar enough when you're singing them, you can, you can actually get away with this. This is actually fine. Um, I would never use this word in a song, and if I ever do, someone please shoot me. I'm serious. But there is another exception to this rule because not all songs rhyme. Um, once again, going back to my songs I was talking about earlier, Call Me Jesus and Call Me Judas, they don't rhyme at all. And I will give you a snippet. Where is that?
consequence of arrogance is on my narrow mind. And all the things that Father said were evil, I cast far away. Oh, for I am love and love is good, they say they are misunderstood, but that's okay. In the end, only if you come home to sit with me on my self claimed throne in paradise. In paradise. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so, none of the lyrics actually, well, there is one line I think in that that kind of rhymes in there a little bit, but as a general rule, nothing rhymes. Uh, you can get away with this because this is a story. Uh, you're not necessarily just looking for rhyming words. You are making a story. So if you are writing this like a storyteller, which I encourage you to write it like a storyteller, um, your rhyming words don't matter so much. It has to do with feel. It has to do with emotion. It has to do with telling the story. So in that case, I then say that um, rhyming comes secondary always to telling your story. And um, so another thing I'd like to talk about also is that um, record, record everything. Um, you have written two new lines, a new line to your song, record another demo. It is not going to hurt you to have 20, 30, 40, 50 recordings of the one song because we all do it. Uh, so every time you write a bit extra, re-record it, add in that bit, because if you don't, you are going to forget it. I can guarantee you, you go to bed at night, it's going to be playing in your head all night, you're like, I'm never going to forget this, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're really not, you need to write it all down, write it down, write down your notation, write down your um, tablature for your music, if you're doing music as well, and record the demos. Um, now, I know I've just basically gone into the lyric side of things with this video, which was basically what I was doing anyway, because I can't teach you how to play guitar in like a short video. But Alright, well that was my um, video music vlog thingamajig. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, things should hopefully be back to normal next week where we will be revisiting our top 10 mind list so stay tuned for that one um don't forget to like comment subscribe and share our future is at your musical little fingertips um and that's it we'll see you all next week hope you have a heaps good morning bye